But um, the real thing out of that fight, does anyone believe that Joshua survives 12 rounds against Deontay's power and speed? Like, even if he's boxing well, you have to imagine at some point Deontay's going to reach him. And then what happens? I don't think it's enough for Joshua to be a safety first fighter. I think you can box responsibly and be a little more aggressive and, and impose yourself a little more. Sometimes the boxer puncher, because he can box, chooses to too much. I think of Cotto Margarito. Of course, Margarito was cheating, but still, Cotto just gave up room, gave up room. When Mosley fought Cotto, he pushed him back sometimes, right? Um, I think of uh, um, Better BF and, and Vojtik. Vojtik was the boxer puncher, looked kind of good early, but Better BF kept putting that pressure on and eventually got him. I think Joshua can box responsibly and carefully and also more aggressively than he did against Ruiz, and that may be his best shot against Wilder, instead of just trying to avoid the right hand all night, because you'd think eventually that right hand is going to land. So you better be doing some damage yourself. Max, Wilder versus Fury determine the number one heavyweight? Yeah, Wilder Fury's number one and the lineal champ. And Joshua's his number one contender. Bob Aaron says that Kubrat Fury has been knocked Joshua out. The thing about AJ, he was never going to be a guy who never lost and just beat everyone forever. He was always going to be a very dramatic fighter because he has a champion's heart, he's big and strong, he can punch, and he'll make the fights. Like, he will make the fights. People saying Joshua's running up, Joshua's going to make those fights. And when you're the money man in the division and you'll make the fights, you're in a great era. So I'm not worried about that. And, and by the way, he'll also get up off the deck. Um, so Poulet, like guys have, but, but he's vulnerable. Guys have chances against AJ. It's one of the reasons he's an interesting fighter. Uh, jo Joshua, Joshua's mandatory is Hussein and also Caleb. Um, how do you see those fights going down? We got to see what Usyk looks like against Chisora or someone, right? Like, let's see what he looks like at heavyweight. I suspect Usyk's going to be a good heavyweight. I suspect. But I don't know until we actually, like, Chaz Witherspoon doesn't count. This isn't, you know, eight years ago. This is now. So we got to see what he looks like. But I, I, don't, I don't think they're going to make that fight right now, Joshua and Usyk. I think if Usyk shows up against Chisora, and shows, and he's more or less the same guy he was at cruiserweight. Now think about the heavyweight division. Wilder, Fury, AJ, Ruiz just based on the first AJ. By the way, Ruiz also went tooth and nail with Joseph Parker down under and barely lost that fight. Like for a fat guy, he's in boxing shape. He can move his, like he is, it's true. So, so, and now Usyk, if you add Usyk, that's a lot of top heavyweights. Yeah, Dillian White's a good fighter. I, I, I wouldn't say he's, like, it doesn't mean he can't beat some of those guys, but when I think of the top of the division, those are the names I think of. Fury's the lineal champ. He and Wilder got to sort that out. AJ is the guy who knocked Klitschko out and became a consensus champion before Ruiz. Ruiz showed his quality, and Usyk was a, was a great cruiser weight, but now we got to see if he can carry the weight. To me, that's the top of the division. Can Ruiz bounce back from this lackluster performance? Ruiz, Ruiz is a natural fighter. He, he'll be able to fight. The question is, can he stay disciplined enough to give us the best version of him? He is special. Absolute dynamite. Oh.